as Extreme Rules is close two weeks away from tonight. Monday Night Raw comes to you live in Miami, Florida in the American Airlines Arena. As we kick off the show with the Queen and Charlotte Flair. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one action tonight on Raw. Charlotte Flair coming to the ring with her father, two-time WWE Hall of Famer, the legendary Ric Flair, 16-time world champion. Charlotte Flair making her way towards the ring as she'll be a part of Extreme Rules as she'll be in a triple threat ladder match at Extreme Rules pay-per-view. It will be either Charlotte, Nikki Bella, or Lita becoming the more contender for the Raw Women's Championship. When they get to face either Becky Lynch or Asuka for the women's title. We're gonna find out that same night who will be the Iron Woman of WWE. As Charlotte, they're gonna kick off the show with a one-on-one -on -one match as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Maurice. Here comes the French Phenom in Maurice. Making her way towards the ring, coming to the ring along with Dana Brooke. I believe the last time Charlotte Flair and Maurice was in the same ring together, I believe was in a six-woman tag team match on Raw right after SummerSlam. That was when Alexa Bliss tapped out to Carmella in a six-woman tag. And I'm sure Maurice has not forgotten about that. They're going to get a big win over the Queen here on Raw. I mean, who knows? This might add Maurice to the Fatal 4-Way. Into a Fatal 4 match at Extreme Rules. Well, here we go. Battle Swang. The matchup is on the way. A shot and flow out the gate. Jumping snap here. Takes down Maurice. Says, looked a little bit, looked a little bit stunned there, did Maurice. But when it, come, when it comes to Charlotte Fleur, you got to be prepared for whatever she dishes out on you. Fleur that shot to the spine, and now, wait a minute. Going after the legs already. Charlotte Flair. Shades of her father, figure four. Able to turn into the figure eight. What's Maurice going to do? In the early going, and she taps. Holy. Maurice taps out. Charlotte Flair making quick work with the French Vietnam on Raw. That could be the fate of, of Nikki Bella or Lita at Extreme Rules. Charlotte making quick work in that matchup. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on Monday Night Raw, we're going to have a six-man uh, battle royale, rather, where the winner will face the Cruiserweight Champion at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Will it be Gargano or will it be Ciampa? For the Cruiserweight title, we're going to find out live next. But coming up later on tonight, Seth Rollins will go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever against Daniel Bryan on Monday Night Raw. That's our main event. Later on tonight is VIV Florida. And they're back live on Raw, getting ready for the six-man battle royale. Winner becomes number one contender for the Cruiserweight title at WWE uh, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. But the question is, who's it going to be, though? Who's going to win this match? But who's going to win the Extreme Rules? Because if Ciampa loses, he says he's going to quit WWE. So we got to find out what's going to happen with that. As we already have five competitors at ringside and in the ring. As we have the final competitor for the Cruiserweight Battle Royale. Here comes Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd, a former tag team champion here in WWE. He's going to be tag team champions with Cesaro over on the SmackDown brand. They're going to become a singles competitor. They're going to become a Cruiserweight champion. But he's got to go through five other men to get that opportunity. Classic Kid, the last uh, competitor, the last person, the last student to, to be successful in the Heart Dungeon. Now looking to represent. Look at the So every other man in this match over the top onto the outside so he have a championship match waiting for him at the TakeOver Brooklyn event NXT TakeOver Brooklyn will be the last episode of Universe Mode period and here we go 
Six man battle royale as Grand Metallic and Akira Tozawa going at it. Oh, wait, no! Jeez! Never mind. Noam Dar being spiked on his head by Metallic. Hideo and Tyson Kidd going at it in the corner as well. All men have never been Cruiserweight Champion. We've seen the likes of Roderick Strong and Cedric Alexander all be Cruiserweight Champions. Actually, I'm actually going to correct myself. Hideo Watani was a former Cruiserweight Champion back in Season 2 of Universe Mode. That's a long time ago. But, oh, it's a great head kick there by Kalisto. Kalisto has, had tail, has held tag team titles, but never held a single championship yet in WWE. Here in Universe Mode, as Kalisto tried to eliminate Hideo Watami, who's been there. Former Intercontinental Champion, former Television Champion, and Cruiserweight Champion as well. Akira Tozawa yet to succeed here in Universe Mode, just yet. Metallic, same. Him and Kalisto beginning some big wins as a tag team competitor as a Tyson Kidd has been eliminated by Noam Dar. Noam Dar crushing the dreams of the Canadian star and Tyson Kidd. And now Akira Tozawa going to eliminate Grand Metallic. Look at that Chuck Metallic over the top row. And Dar looking to help him out. Snap suplex there by Hideo with Tommy on the Kalisto. As Grand Metallic gave it the final odds and defend himself against Noam Dar and Tozawa. Noam Dar going after Hideo Watami who I think is one of the, the nastiest strikers you'll ever meet inside that ring. The, ja the Japanese sensation and Hideo Watami at the uh, bottom of the rope. You see Garrett Tozawa looking to make a name for himself over Kalisto. That's Kalisto. In my opinion, one of the greatest tag team competitors in Universe Mode over the past four seasons. As, uh, look at Dawn Dark attacking the knee there. I don't know if that's wise. If your opponent can't stand up, then it's going to be more difficult to chuck him over the top rope. As a damn trying to go for a German, but no, Dark able to counter. Just back and forth, forward to the face, now back to Zawa. A lot of action going on in this matchup, in this battle royale. Look at Tozawa! Look at that! Ow! Oh, wow. Nice spring falcon arrow, but he's gonna chuck him over the top rope just like Noah Dar did to Adeo Watami! And a fisherman suplex on the Tozawa! And that both men, well, I thought we're down, but now Noah Dar getting up to his feet. We're down to four. We are down to four in this fatal four way. Well, used to be a six man over the top rope battle, and now fatal four way. And now. Leading team by Metallic and a Hurricane Rana there by a Tozawa. All four men have an opportunity to become number one contender. They're going to be waiting at Tinkle, the last show of the year. Unforgiven was the last show for SmackDown. Extreme Rules would be the last show for Raw. And NXT would be the last one to have the last show. What a way to end the season. We had a hell of a season, if you ask me. Elimination Chamber was the most successful pay-per-view we've ever had here in Universe Mode. We had about two takeovers this year. The super kick down goes Dar. We're down the three. We are down the three competitors. One Japanese, two luchadors going at it in this battle royale. Wait a minute, Kalisto is gone. Metallic is gone. And now Kalisto chucking Tozawa over the top. Kalisto is going to take over. Kalisto eliminates Grand Metallic and Akira Tozawa. Kalisto, with that big opportunity in hand, is going to NXT TakeOver. Oh my. Back live on Monday Night Raw, getting ready for this one-on-one -on -one match between the two tag team wrestlers. This feud doesn't look like it's going to end at all. We're Fondango looking to be in action for the first time as a singles competitor on Raw. But he's not coming alone. Here comes Tyler Breeze. 
Tyler Breeze has been uh, mingling with Seth Rollins against Roman Reigns, but then Roman decided to get his cousins involved, the Usos. And then the Usos able to become number one contenders to the Raw Tag Team titles last week on Raw. Only two weeks away from Extreme Rules. I cannot wait where every match, every match must be under extreme stipulation. And everybody's speculating. What match is extreme? What match is going to be under extreme rules? Well, we still have yet to find out what match is going to be an extreme rules match outside of the triple threat match for the number one contendership for the women's title. The, the Becky Lynch and Oscar Iron Woman match. That'll be anything goes. No holds barred between both women. So they got 15 minutes of action packed women's championship match. And the tag team titles will be under extreme rules. It's no longer an extreme rules match. It will now be a tables match. So the Usos will face the revival in a tornado in a tornado style elimination tables match at extreme rules. So these are the matches that are announced so far to be under extreme rules. Rollins and Reigns yet to be announced under extreme rules stipulation. And Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke Nakamura for the Universal Championship. That has not been decided under an Extreme Rules stipulation as well. Well, tonight on Monday Night Raw, the Usos, one of the Usos, I believe Jay is going to be in action. It will be Jay versus Fondango here tonight on Monday Night Raw. As the bell is rung, and here we go. As Fondango got his hands on Jay in the early going. These, these two uh, had a great tag team match along with Breeze and Jimmy last week. A great tag team match that went over about 15 to 20 minutes. Insane. And now, look at Jay off the second rope with a diving headbutt. You don't want to get... Oh, jeez. Rotating elbow there by Von Dung. I was going to say, you don't want to get headbutted by uh, Samoan, but on the spine. Good creep. That was to do some damage. Big drop kick there by Dango. Dango looking to have the momentum be on his side in this matchup. Not looking to let Jay get, a, get an advantage, but Jay able to find an opening, able to deep arm drag Dango. And now look at that Iris from Fon Dango off the road. Flying forearm to follow. Calabrese on one end and Jimmy on the other. Watching on as their partners, respective partners, go to war tonight. Jay Uso just mocking the crowd with that Uso chant as they used to uh, do that back in the day. And oh, back body drop there by Dongo. I never forget when I asked the Usos on on Raw many many months ago when they came to Raw. Falcon Arrow there by Dongo. I asked the Usos where did the attitude uh, come from, and they told me well. They're done with how they used to be. They realize how they used to be is not getting them any success whatsoever. They needed a change. As oh wow. Jay Uso off the top. I believe a diving headbutt. Able to do the trick. And now. And oh! Double leg takedown there by Fondango onto Jay Uso. Try to go for it. Breaker, but Uso land on his feet. And now Dango now. Got him up. Rikishi driver. Oh my god. Didn't realize he was going for a Rikishi driver until he nailed it. And now Jay. Tequila Sunrise Submission Hold. That does so much damage to your arm and, and knee. And oh, I thought he tapped out there. But Dango fighting through. Von Dongo able to fight through that tequila sunrise submission hold. That key lock, single leg Boston Crab like maneuver. Ow! Oh, neckbreaker counter. And now Jay, they're gonna put away Dongo. Von Dongo not gonna like the view as he looks up. Well, super kick to the face. Right to the face. And oh, wait a minute. Tyler Breeze getting involved. Making sure that he distracts the referee. 
So that Jay doesn't get the win as oh, Fontana with a clothesline. And Tyler Breeze's mind, I'm sure he's think he's hoping that Fondango takes advantage of that helpful distraction. That could have cost Fondango right there. That super kick. One, two, three. That could have been it. But Tyler Breeze realized that Dongo is in trouble. Slick shot, leg drop over the top onto the outside. Or onto the inside of the ring. That's a crowd. Oh my god. Flying wheel kick. Fondango's version of the uh, beauty shot. The crowd is behind Fudango. Turn out on Monday Night Raw. And oh, Motor Light Suplex for the win! And a kick out at one. As, uh, oh, you see Jimmy there distracting Fondango. And now look at Jay up to his feet, trying to capitalize. Backfired. Able to counter the cutter. Blocked it for him into a form of his own. Gotta go for another one, Kishijar Brad. Don't count it. In for the DDT by Fondango. This bad blood between both teams are not gonna go away anytime soon. Off the top by Dongo. Last dance, leg drop. Will it be it? Will the fat lady sing tonight? Oh, the kick out of two. Jey Uso staying alive. Fondango wanted to get that win, that big win, the last dance, but Jey Uso said no. We're not done with dancing yet. Fondango whipping Jay into the corner. Got it behind me. As, uh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oof. He would have plant Fondango there. It's like an underhook, hip toss, I believe. And I've got him in the corner. What does Jay have in store for Fondango? Not going to be pretty, I can tell you that. He's just looking down at he's just looking down at Fondango. He's just looking at him. Just it's like Jay Uso, it's just It's like he's acting like Fondango's beneath him. I bet you that was in the mind of, of Jay. And now Jay they're gonna put away Fondango with the super kick. Will that be enough? Or will Breeze get involved again? Cover! And he does! I'm sure the Usos are getting frustrated now. How Tyler Breeze keeps getting himself involved, distracting the referee, allowing Fon Dongo to take advantage. And Dongo, another beauty shot of his version. And now he plans on putting away Jay. How is he going to do that? I mean, Jay able to kick out of the uh, last dance. That didn't work. So what's going to work tonight? Backhand chopped there by Dongo. And now, oh, look at this. Plants him. I don't know what to call that, but cover. Hooks the leg. Will that be enough? He got him. Yes. Fondongo. Able to put away Jey Uso. With that unique maneuver. And now. Breezango, the fashion police. We're going to celebrate tonight on Monday. Not wrong. Big win for Fondango tonight on his first Raw appearance. That was a massive choke, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine because, you know, at Extreme Rules, it's going to be the bloodline standing tall when it counts with all the gold in hand. And at Extreme Rules, Seth, you will be hurt. And tonight, you will be hurt later on. On the back live on Monday Night Raw, here comes Natalia. Roman Reigns sending a little message towards the WWE Universe regarding the bloodline. Saying that he has something in store for Seth Rollins later on tonight. We have no idea what that's going to be about. As Rollins will be facing Daniel Bryan in the main event. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Charlotte Flair put away Maurice earlier. Will Nikki Bella do the same? Or will Natalya actually put up a bigger fight than Maurice? We're going to find out in moments to come. The Bella Army has been standing tall for Nikki Bella ever since Nikki Bella came over to Monday Night Raw. Nikki Bella was lost in the shuffle on SmackDown Live, so she came over to Raw. And now she's she could possibly become the more contender for the Raw Women's Championship. Last time she held the women's title was all the way back in season one 
where she lost the title to her sister Brie in a unification match at WrestleMania. Last time she held a title overall was the Divas title, which she defeated Natalya for back at SummerSlam in Season 2. Natalya with that bulldog in the early going of this matchup against Nikki Bell. That's Natty now. Ooh, trying to go for a suplex, but Nikki able to count it out. Nikki Bella got a hitman slam. These two had a great rivalry in season two on the SmackDown brand. Never forget that great match. That match stole the show, if you ask me, that night. Big drop kick. I believe her knees got the face of Natty. If not, then she, she did some damage there. It was effective. After the, the ropes goes, Natty flying form there by Nikki. Nikki Bell getting win after win after win. Big win after big win. What the hell? Wait a minute. Lita's music is playing. What the hell is going on here? Well, Lita looking to play some mind games. Heading towards extreme. Wait a minute. From behind. Lita. From behind. Lita DDT. Referee didn't see it. And now Natalya crawling. With the life depends on it. If she can get a win here. Up the lead of DDT destruction. Got a kick and a toe by Nikki Bella. Stay alive. Nikki Bella almost lost to Natalia there due to the assist of Lita. Lita getting the upper hand. Tried to get the upper hand. Trying to send a message towards Nikki Bella. We're going to the triple threat match later on. The two weeks. I'm sure Nikki Bella might be a little bit frustrated about that one. I mean, Lita went toe to toe with Becky Lynch, I believe, last week, or if not two weeks ago. Almost got the win, but Becky Lynch came out on top that night. I'm sure Lita was just sending a message, not only to Nikki Bella, but also to Charlotte Flair as well. That she would do nothing, that she would do anything, rather, to get the win at Extreme Rules. And now Natalia, we're gonna take advantage. Look at this bow and arrow. A bow and arrow submission hold. Very close to the ropes. But Nikki able to turn over and escape the hole. Natty able to Irish hook hanging over to hanging on onto the apron. This Nikki, but might backfire. Nope, no, no. Counter, counter, Gord Buster. Able to counter the suplex attempt. Did Natty? Oh, Nikki rather! Four to the face! Nikki dropping Natty. Look at her put her away. Got her up here. Rack attack 2.0. Will that get the job done? Hooks the leg. Get the win over Natty. The shoulder up at two. Early kick out of two to Natty. And again, Nikki Bell's just releasing that her frustration that Natty will not go down. And also to the fact that Lita got involved as well. Again, Nikki getting big win after big win. Trying to do her best to get into the title picture. She's only been on Raw for about nine months. We're going to become women's champion. Super plucks off the top there by Nikki Bella. We're going to pull out all the stops here tonight. And now, it's not mere takedown. Got it with a surfboard stretch. Does Nikki. Got it locked in. On the Natty. Natty may be in trouble here. What's Natty gonna do? As she's a submission specialist herself, you know. As oof, elbow shot to the gut, able to on the oh, she's gonna go for that Natty by nature Lariat, but able to dodge a bullet. Did Nikki. And that was big elbow. Got her here. Neck breaker coming. No, nope, no, nope. able to counter. Able to counter did Natty. Oh! Able to turn Nikki Bella's neck breaker into her own. Able to counter and now drop kick as well. And now Natalia drop kick to the back of the skull. And now Natty by nature coming. No, no, no. I thought she was going to go for that time. Where, oof. And now Nikki Bella trying to go for something. Got caught. Then it was well scouted. Uh, Nikki there. Big right blocked. Four to the face. It's back and forth. Nikki driving the face of Natty right onto her knee. 
And now Nikki feels that the end may be near for the Queen of Hearts. And oof, dropping the elbow. Look at the send a message to her competitors, her opponents at Extreme Rules. But Natty, they're going to turn things around to her favor. German suplex. A German there by Natty. Trying to go for a scoop, but Nikki Counter takes her down. Will this be the. Wait a minute. Nikki has something else in mind. Nikki, be oh, Nikki looking to go old school. This might hurt her though. Wreck attack. Going old school. That's how she beat Natty at SummerSlam years ago. And in a cover goes Nikki. Hooks the leg. Would that be a naff? No, it's not. Natty did not go down this time to the Rack Attack original version. But again, like I mentioned, that's the same move that damaged Nikki Bella in the past. Drop, no! Nikki got dropped, missed the drop kick. Natty got out the way. And out, oh, Nikki got her up this time. Jab in position, stun gun! Nikki Bella trying to be on the top of her game tonight, and she, she kind of is right now. Natalia's trying to fight. But Nikki Bella's just fighting back harder. Oh! Vicious strike! Duck hit the, the natty. Elbow to the face. Shot to the gut by Nikki. Going for a scoop. Counter. Neck. Breaker! Uh-oh. Going towards the legs. Trying to go for that sharpshooter, perhaps. Natty trying to go for the sharpshooter. Nikki countered. Big right. Got her up on her shoulders, electric chair. Electric chair dropped there by Nikki Bella. What a matchup between these two women. Especially with Nikki uh, getting assaulted by Lita early in the match. The end may be there. Got her up, rock attack, 2.0. Plants her, puts the leg. Got her. If that happens, that extreme rule. And she climbs up to victory. And Becky Lynch or Asuka will be facing Nikki Bella at Survivor Series for the Raw Women's title. What a match between Natty and Nikki. Next week on Monday Night Raw, we're going to have another Battle Royale match. Six men over the top of Battle Royale winner. Because number one contender for the United States title after Extreme Rules on the first Raw of Season 5 in Universe Mode. Now it's time for Monday Night Rollins to be in action. As he's looking to burn. burn Miami to the ground. Here comes Seth Rollins. Five-time former WWE Champion. A former United States Champion. Looking to becoming three-time United States Champion at Extreme Rules. Seth Rollins has done it all. Money in the Bank winner, Intercontinental Champion. All he needs is the tag team titles and he truly has done everything in Universe Mode history. Rollins are going to go extreme with Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules. But tonight, we're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. And I did say for the first time ever on Raw, Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan. They fought before on SmackDown for the WWE title. Now tonight, they go one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Non-title match. Seth Rollins, he's been to the mountaintop before. He's trying to do the same thing here on Raw. Never been Universal Champ. But he's taking on a man who cashed in a Money in the Bank contract with a briefcase to get the job done. Here comes everybody's favorite yes man, 
the Universal Champion in Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan being the Rock at SummerSlam for the Universal title. Sending the Rock to Hollywood because the Rock never re-signed after SummerSlam. His first title defense was against Chad Gable when Gable defeated Daniel Bryan and he insisted on defending the Universal title against Chad Gable. And our second Universal title defense will be against Shinsuke Nakamura at Extreme Rules. Will Daniel Bryan end the season as Universal Champ or will the King of Strong Style be able to start the season with the Universal title around his shoulders? And here we go, Bella Swang, Rollins, and Daniel Bryan going at it. Sling, a sling blade by Seth Rollins. These two know each other very well, I'm sure. These two had great matches in the past. The last match, I believe, was on SmackDown. Was It was in St. Louis on SmackDown Live where Rollins and Daniel Bryan fought for the WWE Championship and they never competed one-on-one -on -one ever since. Oh, plants in there did set. That single underhook face buster. Now they're going to have the advantage over Daniel Bryan. Iris whip Bryan off the ropes. Trying to go for a kick. Did not get the, the kick there. Did Bryan, oh, Seth Rollins, rather than that, got him. Oh, no, oh, suplex there by Daniel. This is our main event here on Raw in Miami, Florida. As off the ropes goes Rollins. Trying to go, oh, go for a kick to Bryan, but that time Rollins able to counter. And now, oh, the hook. Underhook suplex there by Seth. Like a tip for tap there. And now Rollins got him. Falcon arrow planted by Seth. And now Seth Rollins going up top. Looking to fly, but Brian slowly getting up to his feet, using the ropes to, for leverage. He tried to go for a kick to Seth. So again, these guys know each other very well. Even though they haven't been in the ring with they never been in the ring with each other all season. Never been in the ring with each other since SmackDown last season, in season three. As Brian with that jawbreaker and a running kick as well. Brian, they're gonna go up top, they're gonna fly. Not good if you Seth Rollins. Brian waiting for Rollins to get up to his feet. Up he goes. No, oh, down he goes. Draw kick by Brian. The first match they had was on payback pay-per-view. Cover hooks the leg. And a kick out. At the payback pay-per-view, Daniel Bryan. Before that, at WrestleMania 1, they battle Riel to earn the shot to face Seth for the WWE title. As DDT planted by Seth. Daniel Bryan will later on defeat Seth, making Seth tap out at, bat at payback for the WWE title. And Seth Rollins, high knee. Missed it, did, did Seth. Brian got out the way. And now Seth Rollins got him here. Ooh, big knee lift there by Brian. Able to catch. Speaking of catching, Brian, yes, lock, locked in. By that time, Rollins able to make it to the ropes. Daniel Bryan almost had Bra uh, Rollins with the, the yes lock. As Daniel Bryan, big shot. And oh, oh my God. Inverted Herbert Carolla there by Seth. Would that be enough to pin the Universal Champ? Kick out at one. A one count. That would normally put a lot of people away. But a one count for the for the uh, the lead of the yes the yes movement in Daniel Bryan. I'm all over the place tonight. I'm still not feeling well. But still not able to recover from the sickness I got, but in any event, Rollins with a buckle bomb on the Daniel Bryan. So first the inverted Herbert Corona and then the buckle bomb. Rollins are going to do whatever it takes to put down Universal Champ in Deep Bryan. Able to counter Daniel Bryan with a close line. And now Bryan looking to unleash on Seth. Look at the kick in the high gear. Got Seth in the corner. This is not good if you're the architect. Brian. Look at this. Off the corner. Backflip. 
Off the ropes, he goes, full head of steam. Oh! And now Brian, uh oh, going up top. Brian, they're gonna put away Seth like he did a Chad Gable and Raw. Brian! Oh, got up the way then Seth with the headbutt. Brian trying to go for the headbutt that defeated Chad Gable to retain the Universal title. Brian could have potentially got a win there, but Rollins got the way. Van Shannon for Daniel Bryan in this matchup. As Seth Rollins. Uh oh. This is not good. Rollins got him. Buckle Bomb City! Oh my god! Will that be enough? Buckle Bomb! Second time in this match! Two count! Got him! Buckle Bomb for the win on Raw! I mean, what do you expect? Inverted Hurricane Rana and then a Buckle Bomb twice by Seth Rollins. Rollins pins the Universal Champ. Wait a minute! The Big Dog appearing on Raw for the first time as Roman Reigns! Big headbutt! Roman in his home state in Florida. Look at it. Send the message towards Seth as Roman Superman punch! Seth Rollins did what Roman couldn't do, pinned the Universal Champ, and now Roman with a spear! Rollins paying for it! The United States Champion leaving his mark to end Monday Night Raw. Good night from Miami, Florida.